New York, an hour or so before Saturday's tip-off, Carmelo Anthony laid on his back in visiting locker room at Madison Square Garden, an unfamiliar place, watching tape of the Knicks' previous game, against Lonzo Ball and the Los Angeles Lakers. He was getting his body stretched and massaged, trying to get revved up and ready for his return to New York after playing 47 minutes in a triple overtime thriller in Philadelphia the night before. A few feet to his left, reporters gathered around Russell Westbrook for a pregame interview session, and a question was asked if Westbrook found it strange that the Oklahoma City Thunder had two homecoming games in one road trip, with Paul George's return to Indiana happening four nights earlier. As Westbrook started to answer, Anthony piped up. Ain't no coincidence. He yelled. Conspiracy theory aside, the schedule was set before Anthony was traded to Oklahoma City in September, but there's no question the Thunder have had the trip circled for weeks. With a wobbling start to their season, there was a feeling inside the team that this trip could be something to galvanize them, to bring them closer. They slugged out a five-point win for George in Indy, then outlasted the 7-6 ERS in Philly, and they headed to New York with a chance to cap it off for Anthony. After Anthony was caught by surprise with an introductory video tribute, it started the way it was supposed to, with Anthony drilling a three on the Thunder's opening possession. But with heavy legs and the late announcement that Steven Adams couldn't play due to a concussion, the Thunder were a step slow, they were barraged by deep shots, even without Nick's big man. Chris Tapps Portenghi's, knee. Anthony finished with 12 points on 5 of 18 shooting, and he didn't score in the second half, as the Knicks prevailed 111-96. He wanted the moment, Mello lives for big games like this, George said. I feel for him that we didn't come together and we didn't help him finish what was an amazing night for him. The two wins in Indiana and Philadelphia featured a raucous locker room, with music blaring through a portable speaker that Westbrook carried around. The Thunder don't typically have music going in the locker room after games, but there was a clear vibe going. After the win against the Indiana Pacers, the music was cut so that Josh Hostess could speak with reporters. Westbrook wasn't having it. He wanted it back on so he went back to the shower area and cranked it back up. After the loss to the Knicks, though, the vibe was gone. The locker room was quiet and somber, maybe in part from exhaustion, but probably more frustration. The Thunder felt like they were building on something with the wins against the Pacers and Sixers, and had visions of heading back to Oklahoma City with a plus, 500 record in pocket for the first time since the opening week of the season. I said earlier, wasn't by coincidence though, Anthony said. They give us this game on the fourth night of a tough road trip, a very emotional road trip for our team, for our organization, being that we were in Indiana, dealing with that situation, Philly last night, and then here in New York. So it was overall, from a basketball standpoint for us to win two out of three games, it'll take that.